bike free. Got a package today in the mail. Can't wait to open it up. Orchids is in here. She also said there was a surprise. Ah. I don't know what the surprise is going to be. You guys will learn with me here on this. Ella's always helping. What do you think, Ella? Ella, easy on the mess there. Okay, there's all kinds of stuff food out of this one. I don't know what it is. Hang on. Oh, look at that. It has a little tag, but it lost most of the dirt. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you so much. This is the Lelia Pucarata. Ella, you're not helping. Ella, fui. Very nice. Looks good. Oh, I'm excited. Got a sheep on this one, too. On one of the new girls. pretty much it. Got a shout out to uh, Growing Barefoot for sending me all these and doing such a great job packing them. They look like they'll be great. They're pretty healthy. Thank you so much. Alright, so this is the um, Cattleya Maxima. And look how large this is. This is definitely bloomed once, twice, one, two, three, four, four times already, and it's got a sheath on the new growth. Um, see it right there. I'm not sure how well that'll do. It's got some new growth, new roots. There's a few I see on this, in this cluster. You can see them there. So we'll definitely try to get this potted up and make sure it, uh, it is happy. It's definitely a big girl. 
but I can't wait to see the Cattleya Maxima. I have a tiny little Cattleya Maxima that I purchased from uh, Isis Orchids, but I uh, really got impatient, so when I saw this available, I thought I'd better get it. And then uh, also the uh, Lelia Preparata, and this is a really healthy looking good plant. Roots are a little bit soft, not a lot of new root growth right now. The bulbs don't look bad, and this, this new growth here, well, the roots are kind of dried up, but I think we'll be okay. I'll get this one potted up. I do like how vertical it's growing. That's very nice. It's definitely blooming size. It's already probably bloomed once. I don't know. But it, it looks really good. The leaves feel good. It feels healthy. This, um, this new one here is really good. And there's a sheath coming out of this new one, which I don't know if it's the last new growth or the D new growth from this. So we'll have to see. And then she's so nice, she sent me a gift. And this is something I don't have at all. I don't have any encyclias. I think this is an encyclia. Encyclia Baracatensis Exotic Profusion by self. So yeah, this one looks really cool. I don't have any orchids like this, so this will be really neat. I, I can, I'm going to pot these all up today and see where this goes. This is great. Um, thank you so much, um, Growing Barefoot, for allowing, uh, sharing your orchids with me. Very nice. Really appreciate it. Alright, there it is. There's the big girl. Look at this thing. Oh, it's stuck in the pot already and I didn't even put any media in there yet. Catlea Maxima. Quite a nice specimen. Looks pretty good. New growth does have a little sheath on it. Not sure if I'll be able to keep that, but it's already bloomed four, three, three times. Definitely healthy. We'll get her going real quick. And then also the uh, Lelia preparata. New growth looks really good. It's all really healthy. It is a little heavy for this pot without any media in it, so definitely will tip over. But I don't know if that's a new leaf or a sheath on this growth. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% up on the speed of these types of plants. So Again, I'm the rookie. And then I got a free little gift. Hi, Ella. Hello, you say hello? <coughs> Good. She gave me an encyclia. There's the name right there. And it has great little bulbs, new little growth, looks really green, the roots are green, need some water. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get these potted up and uh, taken care of, and then I have to do some research to see how to take care of these things. I, I don't know what I'm doing here. But yeah, that's, that's my new project. Very nice. Thank you, Barefoot Growing. So yeah, here it is, final results. Encyclia. Hello. Say hello. Good. Oui. There. There. Marad. Okay, she wants to help, but she's being a little obnoxious. But yeah, this is my free gift uh, from the order I placed with uh, Growing Barefoot. Uh, Encyclia, Ambrechia tensis, exotic profusion. Looks really good. Those little pseudobulbs are really healthy. I don't have any Encyclia, so I'm really excited about that. That's actually going to be really cool. I like how thin the, the leaves are and then how fat the little bulbs are. So that's going to be really cool. I can't wait to see what that looks like. I'm going to have to look it up online, though, to see exactly what it looks like. And then this is the Lelia preparata. And I got it all potted up. Ella, chewy, chew, chew. Um, it's a little lopsided in here, but it's got some good growth. Uh, just basic orchid mix. I used a large mix and then really small mix. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't even know what this thing needs yet. 
But um, I'll, I'll learn. I'll, I'm going to do some research on it. And then this is the Cattleya Maxima, and it's a pretty big plant that's bloomed at least four times before. I got it potted up now. It's a little bit of a beast. I have to clean up some things. I probably could have cut off some of the leaves, but I'm not going to right now. I'm just going to let it go. Um, this one looks like it was eaten by uh, a little child, maybe with good, sharp little teeth. I don't know what's going on, but um, yeah, it, it looks super healthy. The new growth, there's everything looks really pretty good, and I'm excited about it because this is one of my favorite Cattleyas, and I have a tiny one that I actually purchased from um, Isis Orchids. But uh, I just couldn't wait. I was too impatient. And when I saw that this one was available and it already had bloomed a few times, I definitely thought that this would be a good plant to buy. So I'm excited about this. I can't wait to see how this turns out. It's going to be very, very fun. Um, the plants are in good health. They were shipped well. They, they, it was a little cold this week, but um, I think they're going to be okay. Uh, I'm slowly kind of letting them warm up and before I put them over in the window. So... Yeah, this is this is what I got. This is it. Thank you uh, so much, Growing Barefoot. And again, if you haven't seen her channel, uh, go ahead and check it out. She's got some good orchid videos, a lot of information on there. And uh, yeah, thank thank you very much.